So a little bird told me you guys were trying to figure out what's in my camera bag, huh? Okay, totally kidding. Hopefully that intro didn't scare you away. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Josh Winiarski and I'm a photographer and filmmaker here on YouTube as well as Instagram. And today, I'm gonna be doing a what's in my camera bag video. So believe it or not, I've actually never done one of these before, but I love watching them. So if you guys enjoy it, I'll try to do it once a year to keep you updated on what I'm carrying and why. But without further ado, let's get into it. Ugh. All right, so starting everything off, this is the bag I carry all my stuff in. Whenever I'm making videos, whenever I'm taking photos, this is the bag. This carries all my gear, all the stuff I rely on, I depend on. This bag has it all. As always, links will be in the description if you're interested in purchasing anything I have in this bag. But without further ado, let's get technical. All right, so the bag itself. This is just a USA gear digital SLR bag. Uh, I don't know exactly if there's a certain model for it, but it's great. It carries everything I need and even a few things I don't. So on the side here, you can see it has a loop and this little bottom pocket. Now, usually I have my compact Rangers tripod in there. However, I'm actually using it to hold up my camera to film this video, but it's a great tripod. I think it retails for around $70 and it's great, it does everything I need. It's got a detachable plate, it's got a ball head, collapsible legs, they use the little flip locks, which I like way better than the twisty ones. It's lightweight, it folds up nice and compact, it fits right on the side of my bag here. It's a great tripod, it's not super cheap, it's not super expensive, definitely consider checking it out. And then on the side of the bag, there is a zipper, and it can house a 15.6 inch laptop, I was a little worried, I actually have a gaming laptop which is a little bit bigger than your standard laptop, but it still fits in here perfectly. So if you're looking to carry a laptop in your camera bag, that's a nice feature. Now let's get into the main pouch. So opening this up, the first thing you're gonna notice looking in here is that there's no camera. That's because I'm filming with my camera right now. I shoot with a Canon 80D. Right now I've got a Canon EFS 24 millimeter lens on there. So both those are missing from my bag, but this is the camera I use for photos. It's the camera I use for videos. It's just a beast, it's a tank. I've shot in the rain with it, I shoot at night. I've shot in icy, snowy conditions. I just love the thing. Now that that's all out of the way, let's get into the stuff that's actually in my bag right now. We'll start with the lenses. So one of my favorite lenses is the Yongnuo 50 millimeter f1.8. This lens is lightweight, it's really cheap. You can get a little risky with it without like worrying too much of it breaking. You know, it's got that f1.8 aperture, so it's good for portraits, it's good for product shots, anything like that. I love the thing, and until I get a more expensive 50 millimeter, this is gonna be in my bag for a while. The next lens I still carry is the 18 to 55 STM. Now, this is a kit lens, it comes with most DSLRs. A lot of people ditch it, I just haven't been able to yet. 18 millimeters is pretty wide for a crop sensor camera like the 80D, and 55 is, you know, zoomed in enough, it's just such a versatile lens. This is my go-to vlogging lens, and if I'm just going out to take pictures, if I had to choose one lens, it would probably be this guy. I know image quality isn't the best, I know the aperture, you know, it's not the fastest, but out of all the lenses I own, this guy's not gonna let me down. I'm not gonna miss shots with it. The shots aren't gonna be the best, 
but if I had to pick one lens, I'd still go with this guy. I've also got a cheapo lens hood on here, which really helps. I live in Seattle, so when I'm shooting in the rain, a lens hood is probably the best way to keep the water off the front of your lens, because as soon as you get moisture on there, all your pictures are blurry, you gotta wipe it, try and take another picture, it gets more water on there, it's a mess. But yeah, I know it gets a bad rap, but if you're looking to upgrade to something like a 24 to 105 or a 17 to 50 f 2.8, those are really expensive lenses. It's tough to just do a simple upgrade without spending a lot of money. So it's really hard not to want to use this lens. I do wish it was faster though. Okay, and last but not least, we've got my telephoto. This is the 55 to 250 millimeter EFS STM lens. Now, this guy is great goes from 55 to 250 millimeter 55 to 250 millimeters uh, so it perfectly covers that focal range paired with the 18 to 55 I can go from 18 to 250 millimeters with just these two lenses now it's pretty sharp it's got image stabilization I love using it for taking either action shots or shooting wildlife. Now last year at this time I was shooting with a 75 to 300 millimeter lens. I made a video on that. It's a pretty good lens. Again, it gets a bad rap. It's not great, you know, we won't see pros using it, but it gets a bad rap. Uh, this is a nice upgrade. I wish there was something in this price range. It was a good upgrade from the 18 to 55, but yeah, it's a great piece of gear. Again, I do wish it was a little faster though. That is not the right lens cap. Next, go to microphone, the Rode VideoMic Go. I bought this over the summer and it's a good mic, but I, I'm not happy with it. So the audio is good. There's nothing wrong with the audio. I love that it's plug and play. It doesn't need batteries. I love the shock mount up here. It's, it's good. But my only issue is this thing does not work in the wind. I don't know if it's just my model, you know, I spent like $60 on the mic, I spent like another 30 on the dead cat, and so it's a $90 microphone, you know, as is. And while the dead cat blocks all the noise from the front, like somehow wind still gets in the back, like right here. And then I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but like if you have one of these mics, like, like blow into the back and they'll just be like a terrible wind sound. So if I'm actually using this outdoors, I get these terrible wind noises. I've tried making a little cover for the back and it doesn't seem to help. So the other day I actually bought a Rode Video Micro and I'm gonna see if that works better. But if you know a fix, like please let me know if you like actually fix this problem. Please let me know because it's driving me crazy. But other than that, like filming indoors or when there's no wind, it's a good mic. It's just that wind problem, duh. Underneath that I just carry a charger sometimes if I'm going on an actual trip, but I won't always have this on me. And then this last little pouch I just pretty much stuff with all the little things. Blower, good for blowing dust off lenses or off mirrors. Cleaner, good for wiping off lenses. Lens pen, these are great. This side is a brush, get off dirt and debris. This side is like a it's like a smudge remover really really good for getting off smudges cool little guy sometimes I'll carry this on me just because it doesn't take up room uh, if I'm gonna use multiple camera angles or do anything with my phone it's just a phone mount screws onto any tripod it's great also got an intervalometer funny thing about this I mean it's a good intervalometer I love it it works well uh, I never keep batteries in it because it doesn't have an off switch I don't know how long it lasts it was like the cheapest one on Amazon and it doesn't have an off switch. Kind of weird. Last but not least, I've got a Go Ben D filter. This is 10 stops. It's got this nice case. Came with a cleaning cloth. I just keep it in there so I always have one if I need it. Works great for long exposures. It's not super high quality, but good enough for my purposes. Next, we've got this little flappy part, the actual like door to the bag. In there, I've got kind of a wrinkly cleaning cloth again uh, you can never have too many of these in your bag just a cleaning cloth I also carry an extra Canon LPE6 battery the little cover on there uh, 
you know the ADD is awesome I love the battery life I think it's rated at like 960 shots on photo and I can take you know non-stop like well over an hour of video the battery is just stellar but occasionally I run out so it's always good to just have a battery in here or if I forget to charge it I've got an extra then I also carry portable charger and a little USB cable this is good if I just need to charge my phone yeah just always good to have a portable charger on you in this little pouch I carry the two AAA batteries to power my intravolometer these are just IKEA batteries doesn't they, they, they're not important I'm sorry but I also and I actually just put this in here a few days ago I have a completely empty 64 gigabyte SD card and the reason I'm carrying that now is because the other day I had filmed a video and then I had went out to take pictures and when I got to the spot I had no SD card I actually had two cameras in this bag which I'd used for the video and there was no SD card because I'd taken them both out to put images onto my computer and to put videos onto my computer so I got to the spot and I had no SD card on me so immediately the first thing I did when I got home is I grabbed this guy put him in my bag so I'll always have a spare on me I would like to get a little case for it though uh, on the side I've got this side pocket nothing in there I don't know what I'd keep in here something thin, maybe a cleaning cloth now one thing I love about this bag is it's got camera business on the bottom but whatever you want up top the second half is just open storage you can fit anything you want in there I normally just keep it full of LaCroix uh, these are key lime always have to have these on me it is vital to a shoot totally kidding uh, normally what I carry in there is maybe a gorilla pod this is the gorilla pod 3k great for getting shots low to the ground if I don't want to do a big tripod just a great piece of kit also lately I've been carrying a thin pair of gloves these are just well, actually these are pretty nice gloves but <laughs> you know just any thin pair of gloves it's been cold lately and got to keep those hands warm in here this actually came with the bag it's actually kind of cool this is a rain cover looks like a, a big shower cap but it goes over your bag and it protects it from the rain uh, the bags kind of rain resistant but if it's really pouring I just throw that on the outside and I know my gear is safe in another side pouch I actually have this big another big plastic bag with a hole in it and I actually this like came with a pillow or something but I actually use this as a rain cover if I need to film something in the rain uh, it's from when I was filming my smartphone photography video at night it was absolutely pouring the dead cat was getting soaked so I got this and put it on and now I just carry it on me and last but not least this is the last pouch uh, it's just a little flap up here I've got like a 10 pack of tissues you know photography takes me to crazy places sometimes I'm outdoors sometimes it's freezing and the last thing I want to do is be like snotting all over my gear uh, good to carry on you yeah. got an extra off-brand lens cap I think I was just given this uh, just keep it in there why not hand warmers again kind of seasonal but just like why not you know it can be the difference between being freezing and miserable and being more comfortable and just enjoying a shoot takes up like no room and two more AAA batteries just in case I do leave some in my intervalometer and it dies uh, I know I've got more on me and lastly I wish I could say I was super cool and I carried something like knives or zip ties or electrical tape but I don't at least not very often uh, I'm a content creator I'm not a survivor man I know a lot of people are like oh you know gaff tape has saved my life or electrical tape has saved my life and you know I'm sure it's useful maybe it comes in handy eventually but I just don't carry it on me if I'm going camping or something that might be in my camping bag and I might throw it in my camera bag but on a day-to-day -day basis it does not serve much use to me if something like a lens breaks I'm not gonna try to fix it with duct tape in the field I'll probably just make do with something else like like not dissing anyone who carries that it just doesn't seem vital to me personally on my day-to-day -day content creation but hey if you carry something like that and it's totally saved you let me know I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below so there it is this is what I'm carrying at the beginning of 2019 this is the gear I use this is the gear I depend on 
uh, there's some things that are definitely going to get swapped out throughout the year. So I'll try and update you in 2020. Whoa, that sounds weird to say. But yeah, what gear do you guys carry? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, if you like the video, be sure to like it. If you have any questions, have any comments, hit up that comment section down below. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for watching. My name is Josh Winiarski. Check me out on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time.